In this video clip, we will give you a short introduction to Mental Mill. Mental Mill is a shader creation tool that allows you to create shader effects in a graphical way with instant, real-time visual feedback. We can create complex shaders by combining simple shaders to so-called shader networks. Thanks to the visual approach, creating new shaders for your applications becomes an easy-to-learn, fast, and yet very efficient process. To use Mental Mill, you are not required to write any shader code. You can fully concentrate on creating visually impressive results in just a few easy steps. This is the Mental Mill. On the left-hand side of the mill is the toolbox. All the shader components, also called meta nodes, can be found here. The shader components are sorted in categories so that you can easily find the shader component that you are looking for. The center panel is the graph view. That's where we see the visual representation of the shader nodes. You can create a shader instance by simply dragging and dropping a node on the graph view. The right-hand side shows the parameter view, where you can adjust the parameters of your selected node. If you want to expand graph view, you can easily hide and show the toolbox in the parameter editor. Use Ctrl-T for hiding the toolbox and Ctrl-E for hiding the parameter editor. Next, we are going to show you how easy it is to create complex shading effects. We start by building our effect by creating an Illumination Fong node. You can select among a variety of different preview objects to visualize your effect on. We can easily change the parameters of our selected node by setting the desired values in the parameter editor. We can, for example, adjust the appearance of the highlight. By holding down the Shift key and dragging the mouse, you can move the virtual light source around and see how the surface reacts to the incoming light. We can also inspect the RGBA value of a pixel by holding down the Control key and moving the mouse around. An effect is usually assembled using several nodes which you can connect to each other. This is what makes Mental Mill such a powerful tool. Let's instantiate another node. This is a bump map node that modifies the normal by looking up a normal texture. Since it modifies the normal of a surface, we want to change the normal of the Fong shader. We do this by exposing the normal of the Fong node. We right click, select Add State Parameter, and from the submenu, we choose Normal. As you can see, the normal has been added, and we connect the result of the bump map node to our normal input. As you can see, the appearance of the Fong node has changed. We see now how the Fong node reflects the change of its normal. We can easily adjust the strength of the bump map like this. Finally, we select a different normal texture. From the Mental Mill Texture directory, choose the file Relief Map 1 Normal. Let's make this effect more interesting. We know we could not impress anyone with a bump mapped Fong shader. Mental Mill offers lots of nodes that generate textures and patterns. These shader nodes can be found under Generators. What we're looking for is a water generator which we will create in our graph view. This shader doesn't only look nice, it can also be animated. Hit the cursor Up key to start animation. You can see how the water is waving in the breeze. This node uses a black-white image to drive the depth of the water. In order to have a completely deep sea, we set the sea height texture to a completely white image. To combine the result of several nodes, we can use the math shader nodes. A lot of different math nodes are provided with Mental Mill, which can perform a wide range of operations like multiplying or adding colors. Here, we want to mix two results, so let's put the color mix node here. We connect the result of the bump mapped fong to one input and the water to the other. In each node, you see the intermediate result. We can blend between the two inputs by varying the mix parameter. Note that we can still select a previous node, change its parameters, and see the change propagate to the other nodes, everything happening in real time. For the last part, we want to create a more sophisticated effect than just mixing two shaders. Since we don't want the fong surface and the water to be equally mixed, we want to drive the mix input by a texture. Using a texture has the advantage that you don't have a constant value, but you can vary it across the shaded surface. So let's instantiate a Texture Lookup node. From the Mental Mill Texture directory, we select the Relief Map 1 Height Texture. 
you can see that we have a black and white image that we will use to drive the mixing node with. We will use the color compress level node to change the range of our height texture. What this node does is taking the input color and compressing it so that it gets more contrast. You can also shift the center of compression, just like you can see here. This node is very suitable whenever you want to bring colors to a different range. We set compress factor to about 0.3, which gives a sharper range of the input values. Decreasing makes the results softer and less compressed. By moving the compression center slider, you see that we can move through the brightness of the image. By using the compression center of the color compress level node, we have a control for the mix node. So let's connect this output to the color mix node input mix. Where the color is black, we get the result of the water shader. In white areas, we see the fong surface, and in the gray transition, you see that both colors are blended. Move the compression center slider to see how our surface is being flooded. This is a quick example of how to create shading effects in Mental Mill, and it wasn't difficult at all. You can now save your work and export your shader to various applications. Mental Mill supports dedicated export for a wide range of applications like FX Composer, Katia, 3ds Max, Maya, or Softimage XSI. You can also take your shader network and create your own shader node which you can store in the toolbox for later usage. This will be shown in a different video clip. In this video, we gave you a fast overview over the newest shader creation tool, Mental Mill. As you saw, there's no need to write any shader code. The beta version can be downloaded for free at the Mental Images website. There's also our Mental Mill forum on which you can ask questions and exchange your experiences with other Mental Mill users. There you'll find additional resources like more examples and tutorials or new shader nodes. We hope to see you in the forum soon. Shade safe and have a nice day.